the Philly cheesesteak, the staple of Philadelphia. It's always signed there, I heard. I don't know. <laughs> So in order to make a proper Philly cheesesteak, you need four ingredients. The onion, the meat, the whiz, and the bread. And yeah, sure, you can make a cheesesteak with provolone or peppers or mayonnaise, but that's just not for me. So to start, we're going to saute some onions on pretty high heat. We want to cook them just long enough to have a nice sear and just start to barely get soft so that we can get a nice texture from them in the sandwich. All right, so we got our cheese whiz here. You know it's cheap when the label falls off without any provocation, but this is what they use, man. I mean, I can't, I can't make the rules. I don't make the rules. They, someone did out there in Podunk, Philly. How much would you pay me to just take a big bite of this right now? Five Are you serious? That was a really bad decision. Oh. Sorry. Don't eat it raw. Just by itself, it's bad. It's real bad. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this just on the heat for a little bit, low heat. Really low. I swear it's good on the sandwich, but do not eat that stuff by itself. Now in the same pan, so we can make sure we get all that amazing onion flavor, we're going to toss in our shim, yeah, shinly, yeah, shinly faved, thinly shaved ribeye. And let me tell you now that yes, you can get that frozen shaved beef flavored product, which I have before and I'm sure it'll still be great, but after making this with ribeye that just costs a couple dollars more. I will literally never go back. This meat sent this dish to another planet. And once you've slapped your beef with salt and pepper and it has fully cooked, rinse and repeat with the next batch. Now while this was cooking, I went ahead and actually just chopped up the first batch and now I'm going to add it back into the pan while I chop up the second batch and then of course add it all back into the pan with our lovely onions. This is just going to give them that nutty butter flavor and let them toast a little bit better. Look. It's beautiful. So now we're just gonna take some of this delicious looking meat. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. I'm gonna do it over this so I can get as maximum meat added. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be ridiculous. Holy cow. Mmm. It's coming out all over my head. <laughs> that's what she said. Alright. Oh, man. I probably should have used my other knife for this, but it's too late now. All right, ready for this? Oh my gosh. I am just so excited to try this. I'm gonna cheat and just take a little bit. Oh man. Just that piece of meat alone was ridiculous. Mmm. It's definitely the best cheesesteak I've ever made. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mmm. Yep. Yeah. Alright. We'll see you next week. Like and subscribe.